Welcome, Sex. What's going on, guys? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I know it's been a while. It's been a few weeks, but I'm back, guys. I'm back. I'm back. All right, so we're going to talk about September, guys. So if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Have a seat. All right, I'm going to get this tea, honey, because this is going to be in regards to love, love messages for the month of September. It is a general read. It may or may not resonate with you. However, if it does happen to resonate, be sure to energetically show this channel some love by hitting the like button as well as share with your family and your friends. If you're a newbie, click the bell to subscribe. All right. So we're going to talk, let's talk about love, all right, for the Sagittarius in the month of September, okay? All right, so make sure to comment below if this message resonates with you. Let's go ahead and pull some energy for the Sagittarius. Ooh, all right. So somebody you could be dealing with or could have dealt with they couldn't let you get close to them um we got i wish i had treated you better i couldn't let you get close to me so this person may know that they didn't treat you you know like basically like you deserve better they know that the way that they treated you they could have treated you better but for some reason, they couldn't let you get too close to them. I wish I could take back my words. So there's something that that they said that they wish that they could take back. But this person really, really wants to tell you and truly how they really feel. But I'm not sure if they told you how they truly feel. Because I'm getting that they're wanting to take some words back. But now this they're taking time to heal. This person that you were dealing with or is dealing with at this current moment, they're taking time to heal. But for some reason, they did not want to get too close to you or let you get too close to them. Tell me more. Yeah, this person isn't available. We got, I am not available. So this person is... Ghost could have possibly ghosted you. There's this person is just they're not available right now. We got I'm afraid to contact you. We both know I'm not the one for you. So something here, I'm getting that this person is first of all, you and this person may not be in communication with each other. They haven't reached out to you. You haven't reached out to them. But, and it could be because they feel that you're not the one for them or they're not the one for you. I'm getting that they feel that they aren't the one for you. Because I got, I wish I would have treated, I could, I wish I had treated you better. So this person is having like some insecurity issues. I want to tell, I want to feel that way again. They want to feel love unconditionally. We got, I love you unconditionally. But I'm getting that maybe they aren't feeling that unconditional love from you. Because we they're saying we need to let each other go. And it keeps repeating, it's time for me to heal now. This person is definitely taking much needed time off to heal. There's something that this person is healing from. Um... There's some words that they're wishing that they could take back as well. Give me one more card. I wonder if you are happy without me. And then we got, I regret lying to you. Did this person lie to you? So that could be the reason why they're saying, I wish I would have treated you better. I couldn't let you get too close to me. They couldn't let you figure out or find out 
that they weren't being as honest. So now they're running, not answering any phone calls, not reaching out. And now they're wondering if you're happy without them. Interesting. All right, so let's let's find out more. We're going to pull from the Romance Angel deck here. Let's see what, what's going on with your person. I'm getting some runner vibes. Hey, this person is a runner. I feel like this person may have some insecurities. And this person could be a liar. All right, so tell me more about Sagittarius person. Children. Children could be involved in the situation. Give this relationship a chance. It is safe for you to love. And then we got playfulness. Playfulness. Tell me more. Getting to know each other. And we have keep an open mind. All right, so we got finances and career at the bottom of the deck here. And then we got release your ex. Somebody got released because somebody could have been possibly going through some financial um, strain. There was a lot of deception here. We got deception. Somebody here was definitely wearing a false mask, not being honest, not telling the truth. This could be a baby mother or a baby father. We got children here. Or this person, they're heavily focused and zoomed in on their children. Yeah, like, I feel like this person could have children. Um, and we got playfulness. I feel like... A little bit of immaturity was involved in this situation. How this person handled the situation. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> the way the person handled the situation could have been very childlike. Somebody here did want to give the relationship a chance. But maybe possibly want to take it slow. Get to know each other a little bit more. Now there's a factor of trust here in the situation. But this person is keeping an open mind. Like they're they're keeping an open mind. They're trying to find out if it's safe. They're trying to find out is it safe for them to let their guard down with you? Is it safe for them to bring possibly their children around you? Is it safe to give this relationship a chance? But I feel like the way that they went about the situation, they may went about the situ situation very childlike or very childish. But I feel like this person is open. They're open to this connection. Make the effort, okay? Um, they're open to this connection as long as the effort is being put in. But somebody here has some codependency issues, okay? So somebody could be very codependent in this relationship. Someone could depend on somebody, depend on the other person a lot to do things or something in that nature. There's some type of codependency here. There could be some type of obsession here. There could be some type of um, addictions here. I'm seeing that as well. I'm seeing as well, because I pulled for children, and then we got healing family issues. This person could focus, could really be um, on their children, okay? There's something about healing a family here. This could be a baby mother or a baby father situation for some, but their focus is on their children. There could be children involved. This person also is learning as well. And I feel like this person could be going through some type of healing. Because this person is learning to put themselves first, love themselves first, before they decide to give a relationship a chance. 
Because I feel like maybe this person has codependency issues. Maybe this person depends on others too much. So this person is learning how to love themselves first. Okay. And I feel like this person is going through some type of awakening. Some type of transformation. As well too. They're very open and optimistic to love and finding their soulmate. But I do feel like. I do feel like that they're putting themselves first. There's things that they need to heal and things that they're working on. I feel like there's, I'm getting like self-indulgent energy and being open to this connection. But I do see like their attention is elsewhere. I feel like their attention is elsewhere. Okay, so let's pull the tarot. Let's see what messages we get about this person. Let's see what Sagittarius needs to know about this person. What does Sagittarius need to know about this person? We got the world here. The Nine of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles. Got the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And the King of Wands. And the Tower and the Five of Cups. So there looks like there is some type of closing of a chapter here. Somebody walked away or somebody is getting ready to walk away. I feel like someone has already walked away <coughs> from the connection. I feel like this came as a surprise to you. But there is a closing of chapter. Like, I'm getting like this person closed a chapter here. Yeah, on, on love. We got the lovers. I do see some spying going on. There is some spying going on. But this person definitely decided to close the door, okay? I'm getting that maybe you are offering this person a solid love offer. Um... A solid love offer. I do feel like you put in a lot with the Ten of Wands and the Chariot. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Gemini. But I'm getting you put... I see you putting in a lot. You're pushing... Like, you're really going really, really hard for this connection. And I feel like it ended abruptly. Okay? I feel like it ended abruptly. And I feel like this person... Uh, there was a love offer on the table. Okay, so some honesty, some truth needed to come out of the situation. This person needed to open up or and I feel like you went searching for the truth. Okay, I feel like you went searching for the truth. Um, I feel like you found out some truths and then a chapter closed. I feel like this person is having some sleepless nights. This person has some type of worry or strain, some a lot on their mind. Why is the nine of swords here? The four of wands. So this could be in regards to like their stability, their home life. Like I said, again, there is a lot of spying going on. But I do feel like this person is, yeah, the temperance. This is you guys' energy, but this is also about balance and peace. I feel like this person has a lot on their mind. What the things that they're having on their mind, it looks like it's in regards to home life and trying to find balance and trying to find peace. Okay. So they decided to walk away with the eight of cups. They walked away and it happened abruptly. It happened like out of the blue all of a sudden. All of a sudden this person just decided to just leave. I feel like they did I feel like this person wasn't at peace within themselves. Um, so they decided to walk away. Now we got the Empress, okay? This person um, is has to go through some type of growth, okay? We got the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Someone's not putting any effort. I feel like this is the reason why you may feel like this person may stop putting in effort. Um, this is why this person is going through some type of, like, I'm getting, like, sleepless nights, can't sleep at night, always things on their mind, and it has to do possibly with home life and trying to find balance in the home life so this person walked away okay i feel like they they weren't putting any effort in the connection because there's 
some things that they had going on with them within themselves. Now we got the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. I'm getting someone here who's taking someone's money or taking gifts from someone. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah, because somebody is going through some type of financial strain here. I feel like that's where the codependent energy comes in. I feel like maybe you were assisting this person or helping this person or vice versa. So you got three of pentacles. Okay, so there's that six of pentacles. Somebody was giving and somebody was taking. Okay, now it looks like this person is, um, they're evaluating something here. Like, they're re-evaluating something. The seven of pentacles, this man is like looking at his harvest, you know, like re-evaluating, looking over things. Why is the seven of pentacles here? The five of wands. <coughs> And the star, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. This person is still holding on to you. Um, energetically, they're still trying to hold on to you. But it's too much. For some reason, they're feeling like burdened. They feel like trying to hold on to the situation is burdening them. For some reason, I'm getting like they're tired. They need a break. There's a lot of running. Of, there's a lot, like a lot of a lot of things moving too fast, or children could be involved. Knight of Pentacles. I'm getting things moving really, really quick, and things needed to slow down. Um, I'm getting like a race. Like there's a race. Also. Someone's feel as if someone's trying is too controlling. And there is a lot of gossiping going on as well, too. There's gossip going on. Okay, so this person feels burdened. Like they feel like holding on to this situation is burdening them. So I feel like they're putting it on hold with the hangman. They're putting it on hold. Okay, I feel like they're getting ready to make some type of changes. They're going through some type of changes. Yep, and they're coming out new. I feel like your person is getting ready to make some changes, okay? They're getting ready. They're going through some type of transformation here. It's quite obvious. It's quite obvious. I don't think they plan to walk away. I feel like it was just abrupt. Like, it was just extremely abrupt. It happened out of the blue. And I feel like they're trying to find some type of balance in their lives. I'm just getting that. Like, I just feel like this person is, needs to go through some type of healing, some type of transformation. I'm getting like, this is the kind of situation, like, it's not you. It's not you, it's me. And a lot of people call those situations, you know, that's BS. But some people really do be in those type of situations, you know, like, they're still trying to find themselves, still trying to discover what you know, the part that they play in, in life. You know, some people just need time to try to find balance and peace. And I feel like this person doesn't have any peace within themselves. All right, so let's get some advice when dealing with this situation. Give me some advice for Sagittarius, please. We got there's something better. Yep, in the near future. In the near future, there's something better that could definitely come along. I feel like um, something about communication isn't clear as well. Remain positive. All right, Spirit is saying, look, just keep, just stay positive. There's something better that's coming around the corner. Yeah, see, we got this situation will improve. But right now is not the right time. I'm getting, and I got the same energy for Pisces too, that there needs to be some type of recovery. I'm feeling like this person could be recovering from something. Um, and it's just not the right time. But I feel like something better is coming in, whether it be an opportunity, whether it be a person, whether it be a situation improving. Spirit is saying to remain positive, the situation will improve over time. 
Okay, now we got unlikely. Unlikely. Tell me more about unlikely, please. Forgiveness. Okay, so some some of you aren't going to be as open to forgiving this person. Some of you aren't going to be as open to forgiving this person. Spirit is saying choose a new direction. You got to take a different approach, a different direction in this situation. And then we got don't stop. Don't stop. I do feel like the situation over time will improve. It's just something about the timing right now. It's just not the right time. It's just not the right time. Give me one more message. Peaceful resolution. Yeah, I do feel like a resolution, a peaceful resolution can come in this situation. But some of you are going to be open to it. Some of you aren't going to be open to this, to having a peaceful resolution in this situation. Reconsider. There's something that needs to be reconsidered in this situation. And it has something to do with communication. Something that was said or something that needs to be said and needs to be communicated clearly. Okay, something needs to be reconsidered in order for you guys to have a peaceful resolution in this situation. All right, so that's the message that I have for my sex. I hope that this message was helpful for you. If this message resonated with you, be sure to leave me a thumbs up, guys, as well as um, share with your family and your friends. Comment below. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe. You aren't going to want to miss out on future videos. All right. So until next time, my guys. Ciao for now.